Buenos dias, good morning everyone. My name is Maurilio Leon and I am the CEO of TNDC, a housing and community development organization serving the entire city of San Francisco and really prioritizing children and families for the future of our success. What an honor and joy it is to be with you today celebrating this amazing, amazing community and fantastic visuals on this beautiful Cinco de Mayo. It's especially an honor to have with us U.S. House of Representatives Speaker Pelosi. <laughs> Madam Speaker, felicidades. We are here today to celebrate 143 families that live in this community. And also to really celebrate what we can do when we work in partnership, stay focused, and create quality projects to house our community. Casa Delante, 2828 16th Street, represents much more than an opportunity. It's a long-standing commitment by TNDC, by MEDA, by the mayor's office, by local leaders in community to build a healthier future for the current and the next generation of San Franciscans. I will clap for myself, yes. I'm really proud of this holistic approach to building this community and the support and prioritizing community health and individual growth for our families and our children. TNDC will support this community by on-site social work and also, also property management. Residents will have fresh produce. Let me underscore it again, fresh produce from the rooftop, from the rooftop garden, thanks to TNDC's urban agricultural team. We will also have free fiber internet, thanks to the city's fiber housing program. That's really important. So let's hear it for the families of this community. To make today possible, it takes more than a village, it takes an entire city. And I would like to thank Meta, our longstanding partner, Speaker Pelosi, Mayor Breed, Mayor's Office of Housing and Community Development, Supervisor Ronan, our financing partners, Bank of America, Federal Home Loan Bank, Century Housing Corporation, Barings Multifamily Capital and Massachusetts Mutual, our contractors and architects, Nibby Brothers General Contractors, Letty Madam Stacy Architects, our nonprofit partners, very proud of our nonprofit partners, Felton Institute, Homie, Galeria de la Raza. <laughs> and lastly, the Mission Neighborhood and Community, the residents, TNDC board, TNDC staff, and countless of others that have really combined and helped us make today possible. We built this community, we can build some more. Si se pudo y si se puede. I would, not, I would now like to introduce Supervisor Ronan. Can we give a hand for Enrique, Luis, and Caroline, the Meta TNDC team that made this possible? <laughs> um, there is no better days than the days that we get to celebrate new affordable housing in District 9, in the Mission, in our community. There's no greater need we have in this city than truly affordable housing. So can we just take a moment to think today we accomplished something amazing? That doesn't happen every day. <laughs> and today it is happening. Uh, congrats again. And so often um, when we build affordable housing because we need it so badly, we stuff as many units as possible in, um, and a lot of times it's studios. It's not every day that we get to uh, have, a, have a celebration of an opening of family housing, of, of, of housing where uh, kids have enough space to breathe, to do their homework, 
to feel at home. Uh, we still have kids in the city living in SRO rooms where uh, their development is, is, is as if they were homeless because they can't move around and they can't have the space that we all deserve as a human right to grow up with dignity. Um, it's these kinds of buildings that are the solution to that. So thank you everyone who was part of this effort. Uh, you're all amazing and let's do it again and again and again and again until every child and every family has a safe, affordable, spacious home to live in where they can grow up with dignity and can succeed. Congratulations. And now I'd like to introduce a partner that was essential to making this project happen, Elizabeth Minnick, the Managing Director of the San Francisco East Bay uh, Market, oh, sorry, she's the San Francisco East Bay Market Executive of Bank of America. Thank you so much, Supervisor Ronan, and what an amazing day and such an honor to be with you today. Bank of America was founded here in San Francisco in 1904 and remains steadfast and our commitment to the city. From financing both of our bridges to all of the wonderful affordable housing developments that we're able to continue to partner with um, in San Francisco, again, we cannot be more honored. I'm gonna continue the thanks. Um, our longstanding partners, PNDC and Meta, the City of San Francisco, the Mayor's Office of Housing and Community Development, um, of course, Supervisor Ronan, Speaker Pelosi, um, and as well as our Bearings Multifamily Capital and Century Housing Corporation. And a big thank you to all of our Bank of America teams that made this possible as well. Thank you so much. See, we're all gonna do that, by the way. And now I'd like to introduce <laughs> Lily from Meta. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I wanna start by sharing my gratitude Meta's gratitude to everyone who contributed to make this uh, project a reality. TNDC could not have been a better partner. And Maurizio, where are you? I'm so glad to be celebrating this with you. And I also want to recognize Don Park, who uh, support for this project was second to none. So thank you, TNDC. Supervisor Ronan, we've been on this journey for about 10 years now of trying to build affordable housing here in the neighborhood. And now, collectively, we have hundreds of units in this neighborhood, so thank you. Over a thousand units. Mayor Breed, I'm not sure if she's here yet. Um, you and she and her administration have shepherded this project all the way to the finish line. And on a different note, but related, I also want to, I think her policies uh, and her focus has resulted in San Francisco Latinos having the, the highest vaccination rate of any Latino community in the nation. That's her legacy. So we very much thank her for that. Speaker Pelosi, uh, you have been responsible for bringing federal resources to our San Francisco Latino community and other communities of color throughout this nation. Your leadership is present and varied. So I think you made Obamacare happen. Um, you st stood out to the tyranny of the last administration, which I really appreciated and admired. <laughs> And more recently, you visited uh, Ukraine, giving support to those brave people. So thank you for that. And how could I forget our Meta team? You guys are incredible. I'm so lucky to come to work every day and be working alongside you. So thank you very much. I especially want to thank Caroline Fang. <laughs> She's the reason that I'm standing here. So six years ago, when Meta first took a, a look at the site, we imagined, what if we could build homes uh, to keep families in place? What if we could ensure that our nonprofits had a stable place to be? What if we could create learning opportunities for our children to the Mission Promise neighborhood? And here we are today celebrating this community and achieving each of those goals. Now we have 140 affordable homes, over 16,000 square feet of commercial space, and a, and a building that showcases what good government, what good community can accomplish. 
this is our collective win. This is our collective effort. So thank you again to everyone. And as a community, we know that the mission has been focused on housing, housing, housing. And we advocated and fought to ensure that this site was earmarked for 100% affordable housing, which is not, you know, it's kind of unusual often because we cannot often compete with the private sector. Our collective advocacy resulted in $50 million being dedicated to the mission from the passage of Prop A of affordable housing bond in 2015. It is those funds that largely made this project a reality. So we thank, for, thank everyone for their advocacy and focus on affordable housing. But I also have to mention that there are some other entities that put their own money towards making this happen, right? It was not only the 50 million. Uh, I have to list Meda as one of the contributors for that. Uh, TNDC, Spy Can, Jin Yeist, and Century Housing Corporation. We all contributed our own money to make this happen. So, you know, we know that creating affordable housing is transformational for a city, a neighborhood, and the families who live here. We must continue to create place. This is what makes the mission special. It is a place, right? It's not just where you, where you go, go to sleep, but this, this is where you live and play and work. So this is part of that effort. Uh, and this is why 2828 16th Street offers longtime home in spaces for three organizations that are very important to our community. Galeria La Raza, Annie is here, Homi, uh, and Felton Institute. <laughs> Together, we lifted the importance of cultural placekeeping, and this is a priority for the neighborhood. And the city's Office of Economic and Workforce Development came through expanding the robust community connections program with 1.3 million, 1.3 million allocated for the buildup of this Galeria, Homi, and Felton spaces in this property. The COVID-19. Uh, COVID-19 crisis showed us more than ever how critical stable housing is for our most vulnerable community members. Health is housing, housing is health. So today's event celebrates this community within a community and it's now poised to thrive for decades to come. With that being said, with, with it being uh, San Francisco Affordable Housing Week, it is now my honor to invite Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, to the podium. For, for decades, Speaker Pelosi has been a supportive of affordable housing, pushing forth equitable policies that are keeping her home district a welcoming place for everyone. Additionally, just this year, she insured $2 million in appropriations for our mission cultural place keepers. In part, that funding will support the build out of permanent spaces for Galeria de Raza and Homi, strengthening the mission cultural ecosystem. And thank you, Kevin, for working on that. This is also National Small Business Week and the speaker championed critical pandemic relief, which has helped our Latino businesses weather the storm. They are now poised to thrive, not just survive. Speaker Pelosi, your long-term commitment to equity is unparalleled. You are a person of values, principles, and action. Thank you very much. Let's hear for Louise. Let's applaud his presentation. <laughs> Thank you, Louise, for your kind words, for your great leadership, uh, for the opportunity to be here with you, to be here with uh, Supervisor Ron and Supervisor Safi, joined us now, uh, to be here with Mariello, and congratulations to you, the newly installed as we had, as congratulations. <laughs> Inaugurated, I guess we would say, <laughs> uh, to be with Caroline Fang and to be with er, the true VIPs of today, Olga, um, Olga Palamente and Irma Science. We'll hear from them as they tell their story. But the VIPs, of course, in addition to those two, are the tenants of the building. I know Tyrone from Delancey Street. I love like Tyrone. But to all of you, this place is about respect, respect for the tenant, that is 100% affordable housing is just a remarkable thing. It is about dignity and how lovely it is for the tenant. 
I want to salute President Biden for putting so much money into local government, enabling it to be helpful in this way, and to recognize Jason Chu, who's the regional administrator for HUD. Uh, uh, Marcia Fudge is the secretary. Thank you. <laughs> because when COVID hit, the, uh, we fought and fought and fought to get resources for the state, but also for the cities and counties to meet the needs, of whether it's our first responders, our healthcare providers, it, our, our teachers, our teachers, our teachers. And this week is also National Education, Public Education Week. So many things to celebrate, observe. And so, again, the president saw all of this as one. But he saw it also as public, private, nonprofit partnerships. We have all fought a long time for low-income housing tax credits, and thank you, Bank of America, which, when it was formed those many years ago, as Elizabeth said, it was the Bank of Italy. And then it became the bank, because the Italians started it. I just wanted to have that as an aside. <laughs> as we celebrate our ethnicity, and happy Cinco de Mayo to everyone, <laughs> everyone here. But it is uh, important to note that it is public, private, nonprofit partnerships that make all of this possible. And again, the office, the mayor's office of housing is so essential in bringing it all together. So let us be very grateful for our mayor, London Breed, for her great leadership in, in all of this. Again, this mission has long been proud of, its, uh, proud of its Latino identity. I always say the beauty is in the mix. Here we have everything, and, uh, and that, that's a wonderful thing. Uh, and now we want to, but the mission has become unaffordable. We can't have that, because that would end our beautiful diversity, our families who are here. I'll just close by telling you a personal story. When I was, uh, oh, let me just say this one more thing about President Biden. Last year, the House Democrats passed historically $24 billion for housing vouchers, which would be the largest expansion in debt and in decades, and 228,000 228, affordable housing units in California. Again, President Biden's leadership. And I must say, without one Republican vote. <laughs> okay, let me just tell you this story. When I was a little girl growing up, my whole life, from grade, first grade to went away to college, my father was mayor of Baltimore. My mother, as first lady, they called her first lady, then, first lady, her focus was affordable housing. And she said, she always said, how can we teach children love and respect if we don't show them that they can be held with respect? We owe all of our children and their families affordable housing. And I was so proud that when she died, many years later, the obituary in the paper quoted that aspect of her life. So this is in my DNA. This is so important. And to see the community and the tenants take the responsibility for the how they would like to see all of this happen, that makes it even better. It's not a cookie cutter thing coming down from on high. It springs uh, from the community. So once again, let us thank Luis Granados and uh, to, for making Casa Ali. Uh, Adelante, Adelante, <laughs> happy for Cinco de Mayo, <laughs> possible. Uh, let us thank Mariello um, Leon for his leadership in terms of what uh, the, uh, the um, Tenderloin Neighborhood Development Corp uh, is going to be doing to help with services and the rest here. It's really quite exciting, reason to celebrate. What a perfect way to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. But I did want to acknowledge the great work of our President Joe Biden and our great Mayor London Breed uh, for just prioritizing, prioritizing, and again, allocating the resources to make all of this possible. Thank you all very much for what you did to make it possible. Happy Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, um, she has already been acknowledged, but I too want to pay my respects and great appreciation to Caroline Fang. Uh, she said she's going to introduce herself, but I want to. 
Yield the floor to Carolyn. Thank you, Carolyn. Good morning. Buenos dias. Zao an. I am Caroline Fang, Meta's Director of Community Real Estate, and I'm extremely honored and grateful to be a Mission resident. Today would never have been possible without the Mission community coming together to fight for this. You connect us to our history and our future. You made our voices heard to create equity. You are our future. Thank you for sharing your stories as Casa Delante, 2828 16th Street, becomes the, a part of the new mission community. I now, now welcome to the stage two community members, Olga Talamante and Irma Saina. Thank you, Carolyn. Um, you know, I was asked to speak today uh, as a long-time member of the community, if you're wondering what my title is. Um, I think, uh, you know, they call us elders, we, some of us call us veteranas, and a friend of mine said, somos pistoleras, you know, because like, cause we're going to be there in the fight. So um, I'm really honored to be here. Um, and let me just share a few words on behalf of the community. The history of our communities has been told in unconventional ways, not always through the accepted history books or the archives of the established institutions. It has been told by the struggles of organizations that have anchored our communities by providing direct services to our youth, like HOMI, to our children and families, like the Felton Institute, and by creating foundational space for our artists, like Galeria de la Raza. The three community-based organizations, they will now have permanent space. And I want to say that again, permanent space. Because you know how many of us have been, you know, uh, displaced. Not personally myself, but certainly lot, lots of people that I know. The uh, organizations have been displaced. Galeria has been milling around the mission, I think, until now we know that they have a space here. And it's the visionary... <laughs> okay, I did, I did a clap for you, Marilio, so you can clap for me. All right. So the three community-based organizations that will now have permanent space complete this new model of buildings with affordable housing and community service providing organizations. And as Speaker Pelosi said, with public, private, and governmental and community in investment. The visionary collaborative work of the TNDC, as we have heard, and MEDA has resulted in this new innovative forms of responding to the needs of family housing and community services. Those are the needs of our community. With this building being an example of that, along with buildings around this. As you know, there are those buildings around us that are housing Good Sam and Youth Speaks. And they're going to be elevating all of our, our communities in the mission. And it was made possible with crucial San Francisco City funding and federal support, which will help to complete the build out of the organizations here. And of course, it was because of the support of Mayor Breed and Speaker Pelosi. And very importantly, this has come about because of the relentless advocacy and organizing of the affordable housing champions of our, of our community. It could not have happened without them, and it could not have happened with the, without the support that I just mentioned. So that's how we need to do things. And yes, Representative Ronan, more, 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 and again, and again, and again. And yes. I, I have been part of this San Francisco community since the early 70s, when Galeria de la Raza was founded. And I can tell you that having that corner on 24th and Bryant was life-saving and transformative for so many of us. The struggle to survive and thrive in systems that are created to take away our humanity, those struggles were given image, voice, dimension by the artists through the paintings, the murals, the films, music and poetry that fed our souls. 
and kept us strong to continue organizing on behalf of our communities. And that's why I can be here, because um, I was strengthened by all of that to continue fighting and to continue advocating uh, as we have recently just did, we went to Washington DC just this past weekend to advocate for the reunification of the children that remain separated since the Trump years. So that's part of what we continue to do. And, and again, it is the community support and the arts that give us, that give us that strength. And when I say life-saving, I do mean it literally. When I was being held as a political prisoner in Argentina, some of you of my age, you may remember, in 1974, 1976. It was the community that rallied to form a defense committee that eventually gained my release, and it was the artists who created the posters and the flyers that helped to mobilize people. And it was the poets and the musicians who inspired and gave strength to my family and friends until I was released and I was able to come home in 1976. From that historic corner to this powerful new building, Galleria, Homi, and Felton Institute, and all the families of the 143 locations that are here to help welcome our families, our residents. We cannot call this place home. Hemos llegado a casa. At last, we are home. Good morning, everyone. I would like to thank everyone for coming today to the grand opening of Casa Adelante, 28, 28, 16th Street. My name is Irma. I've been living here with my two daughters for five months now. I would like to share my experience living here compared to work. We were lived for the past 12 years in San Francisco. In this building, I feel safe and at home. The environment in the community feels much better. My neighbors are kind. The TNDC staff, like property manager Tyra Elaine, <laughs> are friendly, are friendly and welcoming. We're all like one big family here. I love it. We, where we lived before in San Francisco caused a lot of stress, but in this building, we don't have to worry about anything that makes a big difference in how I feel every day for my health and energy. I'm able to volunteer and give back to my neighbors in the building. I, I volunteer doing bingo and working in the rooftop garden. I also hope to teach English and Spanish classes. But most of all, now that my family feels safe and secure, I really feel like my daughters can live their dreams. I want them. I want the best for them. They, bo they both graduate high school next year, and I want them to go to college. One wants, yeah. one wants to become a nurse. The other one wants to work with kids with disability, and I'm, I'm so proud of them, and thankful this home has helped us to feel like a real family. Thank you for helping make this building possible. And now I would like to introduce our very own Mayor London Breed. I can't tell you how good it feels to be here today. And it is even more incredible to be here to share this amazing moment with our speaker, Nancy Pelosi, who, let me tell you, when it comes to taking care of not just the city of San Francisco, but this entire country, there is no more of a fearless leader than Nancy Pelosi, and she is a daughter of this amazing city. Thank you. Because we probably wouldn't be able to do this project and so many other things in this city were it not for her work in advocacy with the federal government. And let me tell you, we wouldn't be able to be here today if it wasn't for the advocacy of the people of this community. And I remember when I served on the Board of Supervisors and uh, Hillary Supervisor Ronan was uh, an aide to the previous supervisor, 
And this community, what we saw was a significant decline in the number of residents. In fact, between 2000 and 2019, a loss of 9,000 Latinos in this community. And when people came to me and had the conversations, I couldn't help but think about what happened in the Fillmore, what happened to the loss of the significant African-American population, and the need for us as a city to do more. Then Mayor Ed Lee put in his budget $50 million to not only acquire property, but to begin the process of what the community wanted, to see more homes built in this community. This, in addition to eight other properties, are a part of that legacy. But it wasn't just enough to build housing, because one of the things that would happen when we would build housing in these neighborhoods, the people who lived here had to go through an extensive lottery process with thousands of applicants. And so when I announce my plans to implement neighborhood preference and to fly to DC after they told us no, and with the support of our fearless leader and this community, we actually stood in front of La Phoenix to announce with people from this community that we were gonna fight for neighborhood preference. And now at La Phoenix, 157 units, here 143 units, the work that this community has done has led to what has already been produced, almost 700 units so far, and another almost 500 units to come. We are well on our way to finally realizing the dream of the people who make up the fabric of the mission community and who are so critical to what makes San Francisco so special. So I am honored to be here today to cut this ribbon, and it feels so good and so rewarding and so exciting and a child care center resources that the community wanted but I'm also really excited that Homie is going to be home here in this particular facility as an organization I work with when I served as the executive director of the African American Art and Culture Complex and I had a lot of last minute requests that they would oftentimes meet the deadlines for so thank you Homie for being there not only for our community but for this community so many amazing people. This is really a dream realized. And last but not least, I want to just say how grateful I am that this community said yes to supporting our residents in public housing, both in Sunnydale and Betrayal Hill. There were units also set aside because of the remodel and reconstruction of those Hope SF projects. There were people who needed a safe, affordable place to call home as we begin that process. Because what we didn't want are those families to be displaced from San Francisco. And so this is a part of a tremendous community, what is a fabric of what makes San Francisco so special. And I cannot wait until we continue to cut these ribbons, purchase these properties, and get these homes built so that San Francisco truly remains a place for all. Thank you so much for being here today. All right, folks, uh, I'm closing out the program. Again, I just want to thank Mayor Breed for being here today and for her leadership in this issue and other issues. Thank you very, very much. Um, again, today's a day full of gratitude. Gratitude to everyone who participated in this project, who made it happen. Again, when you see the various layers of uh, government from the super Board of Supervisors to the Mayor's office to the Speaker of the House, this is what good government can accomplish. And as nonprofits like HOMI, like Galeria, like TNDC, like MEDA, we made it happen. We made it happen. And so I'm just hoping that your role in this particular project, I just walk, as you walk by this project in years to come, you are full of pride in what you accomplished, what we've accomplished together. And I wanna talk to the electeds to see how we build another 10 buildings like this in the next five years. Thank you very much. Okay, are we gonna count together? Yeah.